Hi there guys, it's Niall here. Today I have the first of two videos where I will be showing you how to connect the Commodore 64 to a TV. Now today I'll be showing you how to connect it to an old TV with an analogue tuner and next week or the week after I will be showing you how to connect it to a modern TV that does not have an analogue tuner built in. So. This one is fairly straightforward, should work with any TV that has an analog tuner, although saying that I do have a Sinclair ZX81 that won't tune to some TVs, however I believe that's a dodgy video unit and nothing to do with the TVs themselves because all of them have been tried with this Commodore 64 which is what the video is all about and they do work so I see no reason why this shouldn't work unless the Commodore has a dodgy video output on your machine. So, basically all you have to do is tune it, and many of you might not know how to do that on an old analog TV, however, this is a Goodman's video recording, VHS recording TV, it could record to VHS tapes through a drive it had built in, and this works fine, this is the first TV I actually tried the Commodore on, so I just go with the remote control, I go to menu, PR preset, an auto set. You can do auto set or a manual search, it doesn't really matter. Either way, your analog TV should have a way of tuning it. And no, it will definitely have a way of tuning it, otherwise, how the hell would you watch TV on it? So, you just got to work out how that's done. You should have remote control with it, unless it's a really old a TV. And I do mean really old a TV because I've had remote controls. There were TVs in the 60s that had remote controls, so you should definitely had a remote control with it. Unless, of course, the remote control is broke. However, some TVs will have the buttons on the box, you just better hope they do. So you can tune it in, your Commodore. And it should really detect it first time. If it doesn't, it's a bit of a weak signal. I recommend just retuning it again and do that a few times and it should work. I've had a TV that sometimes don't even detect it for some reason but I've done it two or three times and it's worked. Common problems include a dodgy video output and a dodgy RF cable so I recommend you change them up if it's still not working and then try it and it should work. So that's about it for an analogue TV you've really literally just got to tune it um, I do apologise that it was a bit brief, but I'm not going to drag on unnecessarily because there's not a lot more to say on the matter. So thank you all very much for watching. Please do leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. If you didn't enjoy the video, once again, I say this every video, but it's helpful if rather than just leaving a dislike, you leave a comment saying you know what you thought was wrong with the video so that I can make the next video all the more enjoyable. So thanks, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.